congressman. Uh, I remember going up to uh, Washington, D.C. one time. They had this con uh, congressional record. And I read in that congressional record that his fellow, and this has been a couple years back, but his fellow congressman had voted him one of the most distinguished and hardest working congressmen in Washington, D.C. And a lot of things that we see locally would not be possible without Congressman Jerry Costello. And we continue to work with him. We're going to continue to work with him on another thing that we have de dealing with the levies. He's been very helpful on this. But this project here definitely could not have, been ha uh, could not have happened without our congressman and your congressman, Congressman Jerry Costello. Well, Alan, thank you very much uh, for your kind words, and let me say that I'm uh, pleased to uh, be here today to join the chairman of the county board, the uh, mayor, Mayor Hagnar, who does a great job for the people of this city, and our legislative team. We work very closely together, Senator Hain, Representative Jay Hoffman, Representative Tom Holbrook, and Representative Dan Beiser. Uh, let me say that this is a great day for the people of Granite City, for the people of the area, for the employees of U.S. Steel. I've got to tell you, though, I always call it Granite City Steel, or the mill. Always mill. But this is a tremendous improvement, and it goes along with the economic development plan that Mayor Hagnar has implemented for this city. There are tremendous improvements going on in this city, and this is just one of them, and I was pleased to be a part of uh, trying to bring home federal funds for this project and other projects. And let me conclude by saying that you've read a lot about earmarks uh, in the national press, about earmarks are bad and that members of Congress should not be able to set aside funds for, for specific projects. Well, let me tell you that this project you are experiencing today and the people that will benefit from this, it's a result of an earmark. It's a result of the federal highway bill and our ability as a member of Congress to set aside funds for projects that we know will improve the quality of life for the people that we represent. So when you read about earmarks in the newspaper and you read that I'm fighting for more earmarks for Granite City and other communities around here, you can think of this project and many other projects that have helped and you can hope that we're successful in continuing to not only retain earmarks but also expand because I believe working with your mayor and working with local elected officials and our state legislators that we together know better than the president of the United States or any president or any governor what our local needs are. So thank you very much for inviting me to participate. I look forward to joining our uh, legislative team, the mayor and the chairman of the county board and cutting this ribbon and officially opening this road today. Thank you.